Here we go, your daily, our daily, random word generator generated story. So let's see what the generator, the old generator has to tell us. Okay. Discrepancy. Discrepancy. All right, that's the, that's the generated word randomly. Discrepancy. What does that bring to mind, guys? Discrepancy. The uh, fascinating gap between expectations and reality. I notice that uh, self censorship kicks in. Um, discrepancy, uh, yeah, where, okay, so when I got out of law school, first of all, I never, I never expected to become a lawyer, this was not, this was not, you know, with all due respect, to my colleagues who just, you know, couldn't wait to become lawyers from the time they could walk. Uh, this was not me. I never, I, I didn't see it coming. So a cautionary tale, if you, you know, you happen to graduate college with a degree in biology that you do never intend to use, or it's unlikely that you'll use and you're not pre-med, and you have an in interest in literature and stuff like that, but you know, you sort of not committed. What can happen is you could end up working in an ad agency doing how-to manuals for their in-house computer programs. Uh, and um, you know, you might dabble with what you really were thinking of doing and becoming, you know, filmmaking, being a filmmaker long enough to see that, um, to really do that the way you want to would be courting, you know, have to be ready to starve for your art and maybe you aren't ready to do that. So what can happen is you end up going to law school. Um, when I got out of law school, uh, I thought, you know, even in law school that for some reason, it now seems incredible to me that I would be God's gift to, wait for it, corporate law. Uh, I was wrong, uh, but on the way to discovering that, I worked for a couple of years before I got canned, which was, you know, a good thing, uh, from a medium-sized law firm in Morristown, New Jersey. Uh, the firm had been there, like right on the the green, in the middle of town, for many a year. Uh, it was a well-established, um, a somewhat stodgy, let's say stodgy firm. Slightly, you know, they wanted, they probably would have liked to be. They wanted to be like modern, but they wanted. I think they would have liked to be more stodgy. Anyway, so I, I was brought in as an associate, uh, you know, a lowly associate attorney in the tax area. So I did a little tax. I did a little, they had, a, you know, small corporate sort of practice that I was allowed to dip my toes into. Um, but that basically didn't work out. Uh, and I think they kind of... The writing on the wall, the, the the sign that maybe I was not cut out for this 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 path, this journey in life was at a certain point. I you know I had a, they had a nice nice building, a nice con, an old converted bank, made up nicely into offices, and I had a, a decent size like office to myself. And um, one day. The secretary who was assigned, you know, a dedicated secretary to one of the partners at the firm who um, in his past had been uh, something of a, an accomplished 
weightlifter slash bodybuilder. He had a very impressive, impressively wide neck. Um, she came to my office to ask if I would run a certain errand uh, for this partner to, you know, maybe the local courthouse or something like that. And I was sort of immersed in, you know, whatever fairly humdrum, mundane, small corporate paperwork I was working on, some little case. And um, hardly, with, with, hardly looking up, I just said to her, no. And um, she, you know, she paused a little bit, not having expected that, kind of, you know, probably gave me a look just to ascertain that she had heard me right. And then, okay, you know, because, I mean, technically a secretary is not going to argue with a, even an associate lawyer, even though they may ultimately have more power in the, um, the hierarchy of power in a small, medium-sized suburban law firm. And she dutifully tootled off. And um, it wasn't that long after that. That, you know, first I could sort of he feel the reverberations in the building. Now, you know, I didn't actually hear this, but there was a vibe for the next couple of weeks, uh, particularly shortly after that, where you can he kind of hear echoes of that no, no, no. He said no. Um, I, I speculate that that's the case, because a couple of weeks later, I was beckoned into the office of the managing partner and given my walking papers so um yeah there was a, there was a discrepancy between uh, a number of my expectations first the, uh, for filmmaking and then for corporate law ended up stumbling into immigration law which is a good fit for me just to end things on a happy note so that too Although it hasn't been an unmitigated joy, it's been a heck of a lot better fit for me. That too, kids, can happen to you. So I guess the takeaway here is keep on stumbling. You may just end up stumbling in what passes for the right direction and may even be. Glass half full on this one. Cheers!